Now when it's a blue sky, you know, if I put a little bit of blue in there, you know, because blue, um, the sky reflects down on the ground. So anything facing up will have some blue in it. So I just did a little bit of blue, but then I'm going to get into some more <coughs> interesting colors. Of course, we're going to do some more yellow. In fact, it might be kind of a yellow field. And I'm going to put the colors next to each other. Bright in the front, big swaps in the front. And then as we go back, it's, it's going to be medium shapes. And then back, way back here, it's just lines, right? And I'm going to make a different color yellow. I'm going to make more of an orange, yellow-orange maybe, and put that in as my next color. So just big shapes in the front. And it's more about, you don't brush it a lot. It's more about putting paint down. Let's use a little bit bird sienna because, remember, bird sienna does a lot of that spreading stuff. And then in the middle, the shapes are medium, middle ground, and then the colors become a little more muted, and then way back, they're just going to be lines, right? And then I think I could charge in just a little more color for interest, don't you think? Like a little of that dark green. So if I mix my dark colors together, add a little yellow so I get more natural color. Let's just put in some... So basically, Charging. scribble. I am scribbling, aren't I? You're right. <laughs> Look at that, I'm scribbling. But what happens is the paint kind of goes together. Let's, let's add some water. Remember when we did that? That will add some blooms. And remember, I'm also softening the edges. So like right in here, that edge is a little hard. You know, maybe this edge over here is a little hard. I could do some scraffito. That'll help create some large, larger shapes in the front. You can also find other things to scraffito with. You know, I can come up with and get some larger. Just try to make them natural. And then before it dries, I'm going to put big salt in the front. There's some really large salt in there. And then I'm going to put the regular salt in the middle. And then the popcorn salt more in the back. All right, and we'll just let that dry. You know, the colors look a little bit, it's like I need that color a little bit. What do you think? To make it balance? I have all those darks in the background, and then I have all these bright colors up in the front. So I might need some. This is charging color in. I'm not brushing it very much. I'm just dropping it in there. That balance is a little better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. First painting of the morning is always a little bit... doesn't flow as well. Are you guys finding that? The more paintings you do, the, the better they get? Now this one, I'm going to have to use grayer colors, aren't I? And for this one... So this should create some flowers. All right? For this one, I'm going to do more... I'm going to do... Swipe... Large swipes of color. Try and get some of that stuff happening where the colors are really bleeding into each other. You'll be much happier. It'll be much more interesting. And then mix them together. There's my large shapes, intense colors. Now I'm going to do medium shapes, more muted colors. And then as I go back, they almost become stripes because they become, the shapes become small, right? <laughs> a little variety. I can get that number eight brush that I lost somewhere already. I just want to put some soft edges in here. So I will just put some water and connect, and that'll bloom and kind of do some interesting things. I don't want everything soft. I want variety, all right? So that's what I'm doing is I'm adding a little variety. And then I'll do a little scraffito. It's nice to pull it down so that I have a variety in that too. You know, some of it comes down, some of it's white, some of it's dark. And this is a little too much the same, so I'll go over and then we'll just add, I'm just going to add popcorn salt to this one. 
All right, and let it dry. There are a few paintings up here. Oh, you know what I did on this one? Remember the colored pencil and sandpaper? You could use that to put in a little color also. All right? You could also try plastic wrap. Um, here's one. This, this is the salt. This is kind of the water. Salt, graffito, salt, a little bit of the water. All right? So try to make it a little more interesting um, because it's a larger area of the paper.